the ancient trade in frankincense thrives in the remote hills of Somaliland. Since biblical times, people in the al Madaw Mountains, part of what was once called the Land of Punt, have tapped frankincense trees for their resin. Egyptian pharaohs traded for the gum, and the three Magi brought frankincense with gold and myrrh to the baby Jesus, according to Christians. Today, frankincense remains a popular Christmas time gift and is one of the largest sectors of the economy of Somaliland, a small breakaway republic in the Horn of Africa. <laughs> We have been dealing with this for over a hundred years. My father inherited it from his father, and I inherited it from my father. During tapping seasons, men live in caves in the mountains to be close to the forests. Tapping the trees can be dangerous because they often grow on cliffs. The men have no protective gear such as ropes or harnesses. They risk deadly falls if branches snap or trees break off the cliff face. <laughs> Yes, we are always afraid, every year, when they are harvesting, either someone is seriously hurt or dies. We have no other options, so we have to do it. Once collected, women prepare the gum for exports to the Middle East and beyond. Somaliland's Minister of Environment, Shukri Ishmael, says people cut the trees too much and tap the trees all year round, causing them to die. Tapping um, quite a lot will kill the tree. It will kill the trees. And that's what they are doing at the moment in order to aim. They used to tap it twice a year or once a year, but it became frequent now. Yes, and that kills the trees and kills the forests in general. For the frankincense trade to continue for millennia to come, more will have to be done to preserve the trees. Jason Patinkin for VOA News in Ergavo, Somaliland.